This is why gamers don't need the 360 Hz refresh gaming monitor. So what's up gamers, I'm in Alexa here and I'm back with another YouTube video and actually if you're new here and you just drop by, please make sure to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any info. So, Nvidia and Asus announced at this year's CES that they've created an eSport focused computer monitor capable of running at 360 hz in 1080p. I mean, this is amazing but here are some of the things which raises a red flag and make the new 360 hz gaming monitor not quite interesting so if that sound interesting let's get started if you're a programmer and you are getting better and better at the cs go and feel like this year maybe you will finally be able to step up your game and go big at the moment 240 hz is the high bar that signifies a professional grade gaming monitor so a monitor that can deliver 360 hz with g-sync as in display that can let your graphics card blast up up to 360 frames per second without any graphics issues is pretty impressive though not really exciting news for regular to semi gamers especially not for a monitor which is rumored to cost over one thousand dollars i mean come on i mean this is so much for sure i won't lie i can't even afford it Yes, aside of the price, I know most of us PC gamers care a lot about the monitor's refresh rate or the maximum number of times it can create and recreate an image on screen each second. But again, remember the actual frame rates you get at any given time are based on the PC and what game you are playing the display has which actually keeps how fast it can draw the image on the screen and even most people including me don't even game at 360 frames per second and even most games and most pieces are not capable of hitting the 360 frames per second period with almost every triple a title games PC players who want the best performance often tweak their graphics setting so that they can get highest power visual fidelity while keeping their the game smoothly depending on how much you care about frame rates but you wind up with somewhere around 60 frame rates on a PC or less. I mean this sucks a lot. Sorry to swear in front of you guys but my case point is that I recently had an opportunity to use a very powerful gaming desktop and I was delighted to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare and the controls with the highest visual settings running at around 90 frame rates but I'm telling you this that computer costed over five thousand dollars so most of us are simply aren't going to see that kind of fidelity for a long, long, long time. To be fair, even esports changes the equation a bit because even the number of titles which are still popular in the esports community like Counter Strike, Global Offense, and StarCraft don't even require much graphic power, so it's possible to achieve incredibly high frame rates. Also, other games like Dota or League of Legends aren't that graphically demanding. And even most competitive players would much prefer to sacrifice visual fidelity to see more frame rates faster, which can give them a slight advantage over opponents sitting 360 frames per second, which isn't out of the position. But again, for those who think that the jump from 240 hertz to 360 hertz is that big, you're lying yourself because it isn't as big as you think. I cannot say this myself, but according to many YouTubers who have used the Asus Log Swift 360 hertz, they all say that the differences between playing 240 hertz and 360 hertz are minor. At my best, many who have used the monitor all say that they could read animations more quickly in Counter Strike, which led to better response time. However, many say that the changes are subtle and that only programmers would likely notice the difference. So there you have it. If you're already playing games professionally and have the money to buy the best of the best possible gear without breaking the bank, a 360 Hz monitor isn't snake oil. Yes, it does something, however, it is not something to scrimp and save for if you spend most of your evenings playing Civilization V or even start Druid Valley. It's true most of us won't be able to take advantage of the tech if we tried because I'm someone from Africa and I've been doing gaming for long but I can't really afford that for sure because I can't spend $1000 for a gaming monitor, I mean come on guys. 
but if you like this video and you really like the information which i said and talked about in this video please drop likes on this video and also let me know what you think about this video in this comment section right below and with that said till next time hey just don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and with that said till next time bye thanks for